Okay, today's the topic is about staging. Do as a home seller, you always want to get the top dollar for your property, or whether it's your own primary residence or your investment property. And one thing that I always find the most interesting thing is most seller they don't realize about certain furniture or furnishing. I should I should say certain furnishing that they already have it. In inside of the household, if they stage it properly, they actually don't need the outside stager to come in to restage your whole place to make it look like a postcard ready <laughs> property um, condition. So what I'm trying to say here is, you may want to kind of look at, um, I would say, some of the current magazine like Architecture Digest and um, Homes and Gardens. Kind of pay attention about the current theme, about what was really kind of like a hip, and uh, and then you go through about your storage, and also the uh, the furniture and the furnishing that you have at home. You will be surprised about how much you can do with your existing uh, personal belongings to kind of make your home uh, pop really, uh, and. Um, I actually help some of my clients to kind of like dig through some of the storage unit and kind of like we arrange about how the furniture is being uh, done in the living room and the dining room and also do very minor adjustments. So for example, um, the sofa have some cushion and the sofa still in a very good condition but the cushion looks a little bit dated. Then they may kind of um, buy a couple like a newer cushions and also give uh, like, kind of like a, a blanket and a throw on the side so it give a more like a comfortable homey feeling that people will can see to live in that space so the thing is it's always advisable for anyone before they put the property out on the market is to kind of declutter things that you don't need or things that you may need but it's not you need that immediately so those are the items that you should really pack and put in your storage room and I always recommend people to kind of like during the um, the couple months of marketing and also showing the property please keep the house as little clutter as possible this also give the people, uh, especially homeowner, a uh, very quick turnaround. If let's say there's a, a really serious buyer who just happens to be here for one last day, and they must see it to make a decision about which property they want to put an offer on, those are the one that you really want to kind of like turn around your property quickly, so that you can really we can actually show it to the um, to this kind of like serious buyer. Um, in Honolulu, it's a bit special because we people they don't drive, they f they all fly in and fly out, so it always happened about. Deals happen when the buyer on, only spend the last, I would say, the last morning or last afternoon before they have to go to the airport. And as a home seller, you don't want to miss those opportunity. So take your time to declutter, kind of like clear up whatever things that you have within the property. Even for the investment property, and whether you have a tenants or no tenants, I think it's always important for you to do a personal walkthrough to look at what other things that you think will kind of make it more appealing as a buyer walking into the door. Um, first and foremost about the smell. Anything that is fresh and new, it smells fresh and new. So even though maybe the house or the condo is more than, I don't know, 10 or 20, even 30 years old, but the thing is, if you have a fresh coat of paint, fresh carpet, and even the linen is fresh, people can smell the freshness. They can smell, oh, you know what? This is a very well-kept residence, and people are willing to kind of like spend the time to kind of look through other things to make them feel like they want to kind of like own this place and move in. The whole point for you to declutter and stage it properly is to create that feeling for the buyer, to let the buyer feel like they can live there. Um, and I also want to mention about the wall paint. Uh, many people, they paint the wall according to, the, to their own preference, but when you put the property out for, for resale, 
it's always good to be conservative, which means it's better to paint everything in more neutral and also brighter tone. So with that, it will always appeal to widest audience. And also if people down the road, they want to repaint certain way, the wall is already kind of like white or beige, it will be so much easier for them to repaint or customize any way they want. And also it makes the space looks brighter, cleaner, and more spacious. All you want to do is you want to create a spacious feeling when people they walk into your home. You want them to feel like this is, oh, you're telling me this is a 500 square feet condo? But when they walk in, they feel like this is more like a 700 square feet. You want to create that kind of spacious feeling. And the spacious feeling, you just have to kind of like change the color. And that will be one of the optical illusions that always do the mind trick to the buyer when they see things which is brighter, has more natural light flowing in. And so again, this video just touch on a couple tips on uh, how to help homeowners to kind of like get the property ready for the market. So if you have any questions or any comment, welcome to kind of drop me a line. I'm happy to uh, share. Until next time. Bye -bye.